All right, let's talk some energy efficiency tips that you can implement quickly to make a difference on your electricity bill. Um, at the end of the day, how much you use is the biggest impactor uh, on your bill. Uh, yes, you can switch energy companies in Texas. You may not be able to do that everywhere, but that's an option. You can change your plan, you know, to better suit your energy usage pattern. Those can make a difference, but at the end of the day, it's how much you use. And most consumers can dramatically reduce the amount that they use. Um, here's a couple of ideas. Uh, first of all, if you don't have a smart thermostat, get one. It does not make sense. They are just so, they automate and they, they make the process of adjusting your usage when you don't need it easy. Um, that's the easiest, most simple way. There's typically rebates on them too. Why not? Sometimes you can even get them free with a rebate, different areas. Um, so absolutely do that. A little DIY project for you though that's kind of cool is to go out and get what's called a thermal camera. You can get them for your iPhone, I think uh, Android too. Um, but it's a, it's a cool little thing you stick on there and then you can go around to your home and literally like scan your home to find out, you know, on a hot summer day where you're losing cool air, where, where the hot air is coming in rather. Uh, on, a, on a cold winter day, you know, where you're losing heat. Um, it's an incredible way to just, you know, do a little energy audit, so to speak, of your home from an insulation efficiency standpoint um, to see where you might be able to get some easy wins by, okay, let's fix the insulation there. I had an insulation problem, new build home, and they messed up the insulation in one area and literally in the wintertime, the heat was just going straight up through this uh, channel around my fireplace that had no insulation above it. It was crazy. Um, so there's some easy wins there that you can find. You buy the, the thermal camera, use it, and then resell it on eBay or, or Amazon. Uh, you can sell, use stuff on Amazon too. Um, you know, you'll be, maybe the net difference, you might be out 20, 40 bucks, but you can just, you can, it's pretty cool what you can do there. Um, you can get an energy usage monitor. This is a, something you install on your panel. Uh, there's different versions of it, but it's a great way to monitor the usage of your appliances and it'll have automated ways that, you know, it'll suggest you can uh, to save money on an ongoing basis based on the appliances that you use and, and even rate their efficiency. Uh, hey, this might be, you, you might need to check your furnace because it, it's, it's not operating as efficiently as it should. Um, so that's a great one too. Uh, you can find those. There's many different versions of them. Just, um, you know, Google energy usage monitor, go on Amazon. You can find a lot of different versions. Uh, and holy cow, I mean, if you haven't replaced all your LED bulbs, replace them. LED really is more efficient, a lot. Now, I don't buy into the whole deal that they last, you know, whatever, a gazillion years before you have to replace them. They go out, you know, maybe not as frequently as the old school, but they go out regularly. And, you know, but the bottom line is all along the way, they are way more efficient and it does make a big difference. They do last longer, just not as long as they claim, I don't think. Um, so those are some easy wins. There's, you know, certainly other things that you can do. Uh, at the end, change your filter on your HVA system. That really does, it, it, it impacts how efficiently it operates. Uh, go outside and spray off your, your outside unit. When that thing gets clogged up, it makes it far less efficient get into a habit of doing these things on a regular basis, it does make a difference on your bill, um, you know, every month. Um, and get it serviced regularly too. You know, a little bit of Freon or whatever the liquid is in there, you know, if you're off by a little bit, it can make a huge difference in how well it's uh, efficiently it's operating. So those are just some quick, easy wins um, that you can implement right away because at the end of the day, if you can lower your usage, um, you lower your bill, that's the easiest way to impact it. Uh, and you know what, you can also just, <laughs> just adjusting your thermostat just a couple degrees, even if it's not on an automated basis, uh, can make a huge difference as well. Shifting your energy usage to non-peak hours, typically most plans uh, save a little bit of money there. Uh, so that's something to look at too. And if you really wanna you know, get maximum savings, switch to like a free nights and weekends plan, and sh make a concentrated effort to shift your appliance usage to those free hours. You've got a Tesla electric car or uh, you know non-Tesla, whatever electric car period. If you're on a free nights and weekends plan, you charge it at night, that truly is free. Uh, you know, you're not paying for gas, you're not paying for electricity. 
that's the best way to make those uh, electric cars go is with the free nights and weekends plan. Um, so those are the biggies. I'd certainly love your feedback. If you have any others, uh, you know, reach out and let me know and we'll, uh, we'll share it with the world.